The indirect tax provisions in Budget 2020, to my view, are with three themes. First is continuity. There are limited legislative changes and the focus on Atmanirbhar Bharat continues in the policies that are announced. Second is digitization. If you look at the import of goods at concessional rate of duty, if you look at the SEZ compliance transformation that has been spoken about, if you look at how processes are supposed to change for credit matching and credit availment, there is a renewed focus on how can we digitize more, how can we integrate more, and how can we remove subjective elements of compliance processes. Of course, the changes in the input tax matching and availment regulation are also substantive and can impact the future ability of taking credits in a timely manner. The third pillar to my mind is review. There is an announcement that SEZ laws may have outlived their utility and therefore the law needs to change. Uh, there is a clear announcement of continuation of customs duty exemptions being reviewed. There was a review done of the fact that GST regulations require all processes to be completed by the return of September following the financial year, which has been extended to 30th November.